factory two port boost control solenoid. We will be showing you how to install the three port boost control solenoid, electronic control solenoid. Yeah, so the two port has two ports on the actual solenoid, whereas the three port has three ports, so it can control three hoses separately, where this one port comes off, the hose comes off, and it tees to your turbo and your wastegate. On the three port, you have separate hoses going to your turbo and to your wastegate. So keep watching, and we're gonna show you how to detail install your own three port electronic boost control solenoid. We just had to undo these two bolts so we could get Dax's new three port boost solenoid in. I mean, we could have mounted it like this, which is fine, but just to get the hoses onto the nipples. Yeah, if you look in here, it's got some it sits on that on those metal pieces so you can just pinch it pinch it right against the corner of the 90 and tighten it in place i'm just going to explain to you exactly the hose routing and which port goes to which port on this three-way boost control solenoid uh, it's just a little confusing on how you tee off things and make it work properly it's easier for me to explain it right here to you so on the solenoid it has already labeled which port number is which so one two and three so port one is going to come out around and go to our turbo inlet port two is gonna come out and go to the wastegate nipple, which is this little vacuum pot here. And port three is gonna go down to our compressor nipple, which I already have a hose just coming off of. We're gonna cut that to length. So this is our stock boost control solenoid. Uh, we are going to need to reuse this adapter union because it uh, goes down from this size to a smaller size. So if we remove that, and remove the T fitting. Now this one is going to be turned into off of our port one, and it's gonna come to a T on our turbo inlet. So we're gonna cut this EVAP hose, install a T fitting, and go into that. Okay, so they give you this four millimeter hose, um, and since we are using that other one from the stock hose to come to our turbo intake, uh, we're just gonna need two lengths of this. I'm gonna put it in place so I know exactly how long it needs to be. And basically this one's just gonna come up and go into our port three. three. So I'm just gonna I don't know what the best route is to go. Probably like something like that, eh? Okay. Now we'll feed this onto the wastegate nipple. That's gonna go to our port two. Cut it a little long, we can always pull these off. Cut off a tiny bit if we need to. Feed that onto there. I lied to you. We're actually gonna use the cob hose because it's way more supple. We still do need to reuse this tiny union. I mean, you could go buy a new hose too if you wanted to. Um, it's pretty easy to access. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guy to there. That's gonna live like this. Now it's time to cut the EVAP hose. And I'm just gonna cut it right in this section here, right in the middle, just so I, it's kind of the longest straight stretch without creating any more kinks. No going back. Mm. Okay, so we're just gonna feed this T fitting. Yeah, holy man. That's not coming off. If you want it to come off, I can tell you that much for free. Oh, your daddy. Oh, your daddy, and what does he do for a living? Oh. So that looks pretty good, actually. That's almost even less of a kink. It's kind of ugly, but now, so this is the side that was on the port before on the solenoid. Now we flip it around and we're gonna push this guy onto the T. 
That's the bottom note, I believe. And now, we'll just leave this like that. Okay, now we're just gonna plug the connector in. We kind of rotated it under and we're just gonna go around the back side. I even go between here. Zap strap this up later if we have to. Thanks for watching. Installing the Cobb three-way boost control port shit solenoid valve. Comment down below if this video helped you. Uh, like down below, subscribe to our channel. Keep on, keep it on. Keep on watching Netflix and there'll be more awesome videos like this for you to watch.